Thanks so much. 603 breaking right now. Dozens of crews on the scene of a fire in the Steel Creek area. The flames breaking out on Selkirkshire Road this morning, which is in southwest Charlotte. And Wake Up Charlotte's Billie Jean Shaw live on the scene there. So, Billie Jean, um, it looks like multiple homes there. What can you tell us? Good morning, Carolyn. The scene is very still active. I'm going to step out the way so you can see what we're looking at right now. You're seeing two fire trucks start to pull out. This fire had been going on since about 3, 3.30 this morning. If you're not familiar with the Selkirk neighborhood, this is just a mile away from Charlotte Premium, Premium Outlets and a mile away from the Steel Creek Fire Department, which is the lead agency that is responding to this fire. We're told around 3 a.m. this morning, or 3 a.m. rather, several homes caught on fire. We know at least four homes, according to neighbors, were on fire. Just minutes ago, I spoke to someone who lives in the neighborhood. He was obviously upset. He told me that his two best friends own homes in this neighborhood and that those homes were on fire. He actually had to go and get their children and bring them to his home across the street so they could be safe. Uh, as we're starting to see these fire trucks clear out, you're probably getting a clearer picture of some of the damage that's happened in this neighborhood. Just to give you an idea and lay this out for you, the homes are very close to each other. Um, and so if a fire starts, it's very easy for another home that's nearby to catch on fire. And I'm going to bring your direction right now to the firefighters a little further down the street. You see them still using hoses, still putting out some hot spots. We're also still seeing some smoke as well. I want you to listen to a neighbor uh, who was out earlier this morning walking her dog when she said she saw all of the fire trucks and the commotion. Take a listen. Out letting my dog out and there's a large amount of sirens. You know, typically sometimes we'll wake up and there'll be, you know, a little bit of sirens just from the fire department, but this was way more than normal. Yeah, scary sounds to wake up to this morning. I did check in with medic. They tell me that one person was transported to the hospital in Pineville, Pineville uh, Atrium, and they had minor injuries. We also just heard back from Charlotte Fire Department, and they confirmed that the fire fi a firefighter was uh, transported to the hospital, but it was someone with the Steel Creek Fire Department. So uh, good news there, uh, minor injuries. Other than that, no no other injuries, but still very sad news. Several homes destroyed in this fire just days before the new year. Carolyn, I'll send it back to you.